Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox scripting tutorial, and in today's video, actually it's not even a scripting tutorial really, it's just a pretty simple explanation on how to insert a starter character. So basically whenever you spawn in, you can have, you know, um, a starter default character that everyone looks the same, right? Um, so that's how you do that. Alright, so anyways, it's pretty simple, I'm not going to go too in depth to actually how to make your own like custom character, and like animate it, and like rig it and stuff like that, I'm just going to teach you how to make it, like it's basically I had to make people spawn in a different Roblox or the same Roblox character. So the first thing you got to do um, obviously is go ahead and find yourself a quick model for a character. So I'll look up like uh, hmm, I guess I, I'll do soldier. That, I mean that could be kind of cool. Uh, soldier. Okay and then we got this guy right here. It looks kind of cool. Um, actually this might not work. This, this looks a little weird. Yeah no no. Don't use one like this. It needs to have all the body parts, at least in R6. Actually, it does have all the body parts. Okay, that should be good. But this isn't welded or anything, so this won't stay on. Um, I, let's, send, let's send a different character. <laughs> um, one like uh, this one. Yes, this one. <laughs> Possibly the worst looking one. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Actually, why does this like shouldn't I be on like forward? Why does it backwards like that? It kind of irritates me. I need to, I need to switch that real quick. One second. Where is that hat at? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, that that doesn't look any better. No, yeah, no, no, that doesn't, that doesn't look any better. Okay, anyways, all right. So all you want to do is actually delete some of this like basic stuff right here. Like I don't think you can keep this in. Um, where is this gun at? Yeah, no, don't put that in there. And then I would say get rid of these animations and configurations folder I don't know what that is and then these look, these look like they're welded I guess um, and then you can delete that and delete that script now basically most importantly you just make, make sure you have a humanoid and then your six R6 body parts um, and if you don't have that well then it won't work um, if, but if it's an R15 that'll work as well too also um, I need to actually make sure the primary part is set make sure you set your primary part or else it won't work so if your model doesn't have a primary part then uh, go ahead and click on that and then basically you're picking the primary part of the model and we'll just do like a human root part or something like that uh, and then we'll hit play and then it should work just fine oh wait no it, it won't what am I saying <laughs> okay we need to um, actually move it somewhere my bad all right so go ahead and actually rename this to starter character Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and move it down in the starter character or starter player. And now, as long as it's named just like that, like you know how like tools work and like the handle and stuff, um, as long as it's named just like that, it will become your starter character. And as long as it's inside the starter player too. So now let's go ahead and hit play. And then there we go. Now we are this weird looking soldier. Um, <laughs> yeah, now anyone who spawns gonna look like that. Now the animations aren't working really too well. I don't understand this one. Uh, maybe I deleted the wrong parts, but. You shouldn't really need that. Also, let's insert like a dummy real quick. Um, no, not not me, unfortunately. But okay, <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I have a little character inserter um, plugin up here. So if you don't have this, it's fine. But I'm gonna insert a blank rig. Okay, it has everything we need in there. Um, and then let me go ahead and make that my starter character. See if that works. Uh, delete that out of there. Put that in there, and that should pretty much work. Um, Okay, come on, and let's see. Oh, okay, it works, but we are indeed flying. Now that's not good. I, I don't know why we're flying, to be honest with you. Um, I wonder what the difference is between this one and this one. Hmm. Maybe we're missing some. I don't. I don't know why were we flying. Does anyone? Oh, it's probably anchored. That's why. All right, let me go and unanchor this. No, it's not anchored. Well, so, I mean, some of it is. Okay. I'm gonna unanchor all that just to. That's probably why. Um, so yeah, if that's if your character's flying, that's probably why as well. <laughs> uh, anyways, let me go ahead and put that back as that name, and then delete that out of there, and then this should work just dandy, just fine. So let's hit play. And yes, I heard myself drop to the ground. Okay, come on, and look, we are literally in dummy now. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Pretty simple to do it. I'm not, not many people understood that. Um, so I, I someone said make a video on it. So I was, I guess, like, I was like, why not? It'll be quick. So um, yeah, that's how you do it. Pretty simple stuff, not hard to do. But um, yeah. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. It's the end of the video. If you want more awesome Roblox Roblox like, tutorials just like this one, make sure to subscribe right now. And if you want to learn scripting from the basics, go ahead and check out my beginner series. Um, and you can learn from absolutely scratch. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, leave a like if this helped you, and I'll see you. In the the next one. All right, peace.